it is ridiculously hot in this attic. Um, if you've seen my last videos, it's been a constant fight to keep this area cool. And the problem is it's the attic, when it gets hot, the roof gets hot and it heats up the whole roof. Um, but lately it's been a little bit cooler and it hasn't been too bad, but it still gets pretty hot. So if it's like 80 degrees outside, it'll still be like 90, 95 up here. So we got our AC unit here and we got our two fans blowing cold air around the room. It works great. It really chills the room down when the ceiling is not too hot. But when it's hot in here, it's a fight. This thing cannot keep up. It's only 5,000 BTUs. Um, we probably need 10,000 BTUs to even chill this room uh, relatively well. Um, but one thing I did find is the temperature in this area is a lot cooler than what it is right here. And that's because we have our access point down here. I have a fan blowing air up top right now, but we have our access point here. So cold air comes from downstairs and just kind of sits in this area and slowly creeps into here. Um, and with the hot air, it just sits in here. It just sits in this back corner and just sits. So this back room where the AC unit is. Um, so this pretty big area, um, we have a furnace here. Um, and this is our drip pan for our AC. Um, this thing has never dropped one ounce of water because it's so hot in here. But this room, this what we're gonna do is we are going to add a f actually end up moving this thing down and then we're gonna add a fan, um, which is gonna be, where's my fan? I had a spare, uh, so it's here somewhere. I think it's behind this door. Yep, it's right there. We're gonna add that fan, and we're gonna actually have that fan venting out into this room. So that fan's gonna be blowing air out of this room. I'm going to move this AC unit down because I would prefer, because this fan is never gonna be on while the AC is on. So it's not gonna be a problem. But the problem is I want the fan to be able to pull the hottest air. And the fact is the hotter air is going to be. Before we get started, we should probably, look at that. We should probably move this and take these down. So <clears throat> this thing is going to sit up here, blowing air into this other room. So we get some airflow up here. So the air is going to come from downstairs and it's going to come out through here. And this is a good spot because it's pretty close to the ceiling and it's going to pull in a lot of hot air. But what we're going to do is we're going to have to move this one down and then build a new one to hold this thing up in place. But I think first thing we're going to do is clean this fan. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Not too bad right here. Got a lot of rust on these motors. It's just surface rust though. It's not affecting this thing whatsoever. So we're gonna give this a quick vacuum. Look at that crud. Um, wipe off these fans. I wonder, is this held on together with a pin? Can we open, take that pin off? All right, let's clean it. And using the good old brush and vacuum method works very, very well. Um, cleaned this thing up really easy. Uh, and using rubbing alcohol, 70%, uh, to wipe everything down and clean off some of the rust on this thing. Um, please excuse the lisp. My tongue is completely numb. Well, half of it. I went to the dentist and they fucked me up. It's all cleaned up. Even cleaned up these fins. We're probably gonna clean this up just a little bit more because um, this is the side we're gonna see. But, you know, one thing I did notice is because these fans, let me show you. So 
So here's the problem. So when it pushes air through here, it's just sucking air from everywhere, including the sides. But when it's pushing air out, it's actually coming out and then hitting this wall. And so it's kind of like turbulence. So this is pushing air down, but then it hits here and it cycles through like this. So basically it starts pushing some of the air that's blowing out. So some of the hot air coming in through the back is now hitting this guard and coming back in to get, so it's like a big circle. So there's still a lot of turbulence in there. So what we could do is we could just create some type of funnel so that when it's sucking air in, it's pushing all the air down. We could easily 3D print this, but I think it'd be easier just to see if we can't just jerry-rig it with some cardboard. The, end of the game is suction. So this one is a stock fan without any, um, I guess you could call this diffuser, but we added this diffuser out of cardboard and I will show you the difference in suction between the two. It's the baggie. So right here, it's getting pulled a little bit, right? It's getting pulled. Go further back. See how much more this one's pulling. It's getting suction. It's more suction on this one. Just because the this fan is like pulling air from like the sides and stuff whereas this one it's straight up a suction like it's pulling air from the front so what we're gonna do is probably just build uh kind of like a rim around it so we can kind of clean up the air a little bit more and then repeat it on this side right so we went ahead and cut a hole and it is gonna work great it's gonna work amazingly and we can still keep this housing so it seems semi-decent what we're gonna have to do is take this cardboard out redo it put a four inch or one four and a half inch or so it covers this whole rim and repeat it on the other side it was uh pretty easy to cut that rim off and then just use a dremel to clean it up and then i cut some cardboard and then placed it on top it was pretty easy um i actually ended up having to cut this one it was a little too long it's not four and a half it is four inches and pretty straightforward job really easy fix here we are we had to do some trimming it was not four and a half it was four inches um i have some extra screws not sure where that's from but it doesn't seem important um fans back together um and it's looking good so now we do lose a little bit of air pressure but we have way better suction okay so we got the fan all set up here just cut this piece of two by three right here framed it out it's actually pretty snug it's just, it's just compression fit worried about this vibration let's take a listen back and there you go that's going to be our section pull all the hot air out of the room and it there and then we're going to put the ac unit right below it So I found that these screws um, would help keep the AC unit in place because it wasn't a complete perfect snug fit like it was before, but you know what? This is good enough. It works. <laughs> it's not gonna fall, so that's all I care about. So we got the AC on, fans up there. Yeah, this is looking good. Uh, just taking a little bit of a break. We got it all pretty much sealed up. Um, just doing some finishing work. Just doing some of these trim, you know, just kind of sealing it up a little bit better because there's definitely some cracks and stuff. Got that one all sealed up there. Not the best work. I probably will maybe redo that, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't need to be perfect. 
So this was the whole point. It's a little bit of air, but it's still air. So we got some air coming in from the downstairs entrance. And it's because we're pushing out all the excess heat out of here and we're causing a airflow. So this is like, it's, it's fucking going right now. It's working. So the reason why we wanted to do this and we just don't run the AC the whole time is because the AC does not, it's not strong enough when it's 95 degrees in here, 90 up, this thing struggle bus for this whole space. So what the plan is, is we gotta flush the heat out before we can turn the AC on. So what we're gonna do is vent out the hot air first. So we come in, it's hot, vent all the hot air out, turn the AC on, so. So yeah. Okay, it looks fucking terrible, but it works. So we'll eventually, I think we might. Considering I don't have a thing that allows you to make perfect circles, that's not too bad. I think my voice is nearly back to normal. No more numbness. Um, so just showing off my splitter here, which is directing all the beautiful cooled air from the AC unit right to my chair. And I'll show you in a second. Here we go. I'll sit down right there and boosh it is blowing it is blow so this is the following day um honestly it's still hot up here that's not the whole point of this this thing is just to help push as much of the heat out of this room it's been working great um and this room smells better there's smells it doesn't smell stale and i have an air purifying here because of uh all the 3d uh printers so it's very important to keep this air clean here because I'm not trying to breathe, breathe in this plastic and y'all. So very, very good upgrade. I'm, I'm very happy with it. If you guys work in an attic space or a closed space that gets really hot, ventilation is key. You want, you want a spot for air to come in and you want a spot for a hot air to come out. You know, obviously ideal world, it'd be in the ceiling, but I'm not gonna fuck up this sheetrock. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that. So it's gonna be a, a vent out to the other room. And this splitter has worked out magically. This splitter, I was doing some some gaming last night and it, oh my God, it was so cool in here. And it was hot, but in that spot, it was extremely cold. So thanks for watching this video. Please comment below if you have any questions. Um, this was a fun project, a very fruitful project. And we actually have a lot more projects up to do up here because we spend way too much time up here and it's way too damn hot. Um, so we're only going to make this space a lot bigger. So I appreciate you for watching this video and being part of the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one.